Hello everyone, I am Tacit, and today I'm going to be going over the new Gems of War Mythic of Obsidious. It is in the Glory Gem Guild and VIP chest for this week only, and then it'll be in the drop table with everything else. This mythic is quite noteworthy for many, many reasons, and it's definitely worth getting. Uh, oddly enough, he is actually the first, second mythic of any kingdom. It is a mythic for Droxoom, and of course every single kingdom already has a mythic now, so now Droxoom has two. That doesn't really help the kingdom at all. However, it is the first of all the many double mythics that we're going to be having for every single kingdom. And between this mythic and the other mythic, this one is obviously the better one of the two. As far as what it does, it is basically like Infernus, except slightly different. Uh, probably more noteworthy to go over his traits first, as that's where almost all his value lies. He has a somewhat similar structure to uh, Infernus, in that it has a storm related to its primary color type. And then it also has a uh, stun attack or a uh, four times uh, effect on to the entire enemy team on every single extra turn whenever it ends up getting that. So somewhat similar structure to that of Infernus. So yes, has Brownstorm, has 50% score reduction, and has probably the most noteworthy thing about it. Stun all enemies every extra turn. This is pretty much alone the whole value of the troop. Even if it did nothing else, it would be worth it just for that aspect. Simply because it would be able to get rid of traits within one single turn, probably on your very first turn, from grabbing an extra turn off the very starting board. Uh, has the exact same mana cost as a Infernus, has a really similar uh, damage and the mana accumulation to that of Infernus. Does have a new mechanic called Heavy Splash. Both Heavy Splash and Light Splash were added in the most re uh, recent version of the game, or 4.3. Heavy Splash is uh, actually the first instance of it. Heavy Splash, there's basically three splashes. Uh, light Splash is 25% damage to adjacents. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Light is 25%. Normal is 50%. And Heavy, which is this new one, is 75% to the adjacent enemies. Overall, this thing will do less damage. Not only is its extra little bit of damage based on a 50% instead of 100%, even if it was 100%, it has overall one less damage per hit than that of Infernus. It has one more magic overall than Infernus, but it only has a base value of 8, whereas a Infernus has a base value of 10. So overall, less damage. does have more mana accumulation, however, does not have as much board clear. It does a 5x5 five five destroy, which is more mana, and definitely more board control, but it doesn't end up clearing as much of the board as four explosions would, simply just because it just covers more gems. Uh, but overall, definitely a great thing to pick up. Uh, I would still advise early on in the game to still craft through Infernus. is one of your first few uh, mythics. However, this is definitely a good 5th, 6th, or 7th craft, uh, or you can try getting him now in Glory Gem Guild and VIP chess. And with that being said, let's go get him and mess around with some teams. Uh, one thing to actually note about this mythic, which is going to be kind of weird, is that his full potential won't actually be able to be used uh, initially. Uh, there's a troop coming out in two weeks on a new faction that's going to have 50% mana start to all elementals. And that troop will make this insanely good, since you can just, wow, that's a lot of legends. Uh, since you can just synergize that with um, uh, Infernus with the 50% mana start and just have all three of them on a team. Do something like Titan with its elemental bonus since there's no actual elemental hero class. And just roll with something like that and it should be pretty solid. Obviously Infernus plus this new thing uh, will be a really, really decent combo. Really curious to see if they're actually going to add more Infernus-like troops other than just these two. I'm not quite sure if they will, but at least these two will have perfectly uh, good synergy with each other. If uh, nothing else, also rip the entire key stack, apparently. We're already halfway through our gem keys, and uh, luckily we have enough to keep going. Uh, let's keep going. Hopefully we're getting copies of stuff that we actually need. Though I don't think there's really too many things left that we would actually need as drops, other than this mythic, since we pretty much mythic everything in the second we get it these days, for the most part. So uh, other than the ingots that we're probably getting at the bottom and the trade stones, I don't think much of this we're really getting down. They're already over a thousand keys. Oh, this is a bad sign for this thing already. Uh, luckily, we do have plenty of keys laying around. Oh, there goes gem stack. Rip. Watch us just randomly get a double somewhere. That always hurts. So actually, have we ever had that happen? I don't think that has ever happened. We're, I think it might have happened once off of VIP keys. But um, where we don't get it for such a long time, and then we just randomly pull it off of, uh, or like twice at once. I uh, don't recall that happening for a while, but wow, we just burned through 1.5k gem keys. Well, rip that. Well, let's go into glory keys now. Hopefully glory keys will be a bit luckier. I think there are some rares that we might still need a few copies on that I might not have upgraded from ages upon ages back. 
Uh, but so far, so bad. Why is it getting slower all of a sudden? Gem keys went so quick, now it's taking the... Uh, they're definitely noticeably slower. Uh oh well. I didn't need to click that X, all you have to do is click on the side like that. There we go. A little slower though. As we're getting 200 done at a time. Actually, that might be why it's slower. It's trying to process 200 instead of just 50. Let me see if I click 50, does it go quicker? No, even 50 still has that delay. That's weird. Anyways. Glory and gold and gems keep going up. While we don't actually see it every single time except in the corner. Uh, we are getting those resources from these glory ones. Uh, maybe not this time, but yeah, a little bit of everything. Gives gold, gives uh, souls, gives gold, gives glory. Nothing else, at least we're getting that. And those trade stones down there, though. At this point... <laughs> Unless they're adding a really gigantic trade stone sink, uh, um, those aren't going down anytime soon. But anyways, finally we end up getting Obsidious. Luckily we didn't burn through two whole different stacks. Uh, it was pretty disappointing that we had to go through all of our gems, but at least didn't kill our glory too much. What did that take? So that was 1.5k gem keys and about 2k glory. Ouch. But uh, at least we got it. So now that we got it, let's go and upgrade this thing and just mess around with two quick teams with it real quick. Uh, do keep in mind that this thing won't really be able to have its full potential until about two weeks from now. There is currently no way to 20% mana start this troop. However, give it two weeks and it will be. Uh, and at that point, it'll be insanely good. At the moment, it's still worth using, obviously, just for its stun aspect. Uh, but just as a quick comparison, we'll be able to see this as soon as we put into the team. Uh, the difference of it between uh, it and a Infernus. Let me just put into these two teams and go use them real quick. So, team time. Let's just go to PvP. Hopefully not have anything too annoying. Okay, we immediately have Lust. However, this team has Stun. So, we have a hard counter to it. Never do we need to worry about uh, Lust teams again. Put an Obsidious on your team and uh, you just hard counter Lust instantly. So, uh, we should see Lust teams finally never appear again, hopefully. Uh, so, this is pretty much the team I'll be rolling with. Um, Mountain Crusher with uh, Titan using that elemental bonus thing. Pretty important that you have that elemental bonus thing. Gives one extra magic to all elemental allies every single time anything casts. That's pretty useful. Infernus, Obsidious, and I currently have Apothecary here. However, the new legend that's coming out in two weeks that gives 50% mana start to all elementals is what you'll replace there once that comes out. But we don't have that yet, so we're just using Apothecary for the cleanse and for the Brown and for the board control. So, uh, obviously we're up against Lust right now. One single extra turn will, of course, uh, get rid of all those traits. So there we go. We don't need to deal with Lust. We also still get the burn effect, of course, from uh, Infernus as well. So let's go feed into a bunch of browns, destroy out the board, and go from there. Uh, do keep in mind the way that um, Storms on Death work. Uh, you may notice that, of course, we do have two of these now. We have one that summons a Firestorm when an enemy dies, and then one that summons a Dust Storm, which is a Brown Storm whenever an enemy dies. Uh, however, the one that will trigger is whichever one is further down on your team. So with how our team is currently ordered, uh, we will end up getting a brown storm because whichever one is further down will end up triggering last, which will cause that to be the storm. So, um, yeah, that'll be the storm that will end up occurring. So right here, we can actually go and try using this ability. It's a 5x5 five five explode. I don't believe we have any direct usefulness out of it. I'm just trying to double check. Try for... No, never mind. We can't get that. I guess we could try for that with the sky, though. But uh, no, we don't really have anything good we could do off this. But we'll just go get that down for now. It's a 5x5 five five explode, just like the other guy that came in. And apparently... Oh, no, never mind. Oh, we got to actually turn off that. But, um, yeah, it's a little bit annoying how his damage is, just because it's not as consistent as Infernus. As you can see, this was the one damage difference I was talking about before. Uh, Infernus has a two higher base damage, but this gets one higher magic, as you can see. Uh, but even if this had 100% damage, as you can see, it still would have less damage. But for whatever reason, they only give a 50% 50, 50 chance for the other thing. Uh, basically, Infernus does two 50% uh, manas, or 50% damages on both of his. Uh, both of his damages hit a, a random target, and then do half to the two adjacents. Whereas this is a 75% off the one, and 25% off the others. However, for whatever reason, it isn't actually a 100% chance of occurring. This is weird. But anyways, yeah, Infernus is still way overall more damage. Probably overall the better troop, but you do get some board control stuff that you can do. For example, we have guaranteed skull right here. We don't even need a guess or anything. We know for sure we'll get a skull, and we just do stuff like that. So it does have more board control, but other than that, uh, the only thing you're really using it for is its synergies that it might have, and of course, mainly, primarily, the stun. And we got a pet we don't need. Okay, so let's go test out the other team real quick with Essence of Evil. Okay, let's go into this one. Double Queen Yezebo there. And this one, Essence of Evil, Obsidious, Queen Mab, and Famine. This one's trying to utilize the stun a little bit more. Uh, obviously, things like Famine and Queen Mab want to make sure they don't have traits. Queen Mab wants to make sure it doesn't have immune to mana burn, nor does it have immune to freeze. 
and Famine definitely wants to make sure they don't have immune to Mana Drain. And uh, with our stun immediately, well, now they don't have any of it. So they wouldn't have had any of it to begin with, but now they really don't have any of it. Uh, and of course, even if they had Impervious, uh, Essence of Evil has Curse. So you can simply curse them to get rid of Impervious. Then you can stun them to get rid of literally everything. And there you go. You just stunned a Impervious Troop uh, within really quick. You just got the... Uh, all you'd have to do is do that. Throw an Essence of Evil and boom. You just stun something. Or you just completely disabled something that could potentially have Impervious. Of course, he doesn't actually have Impervious. But that's basically what would have went down. Um, but yeah, it even has Double Curse too. It's still... Uh, as of this current moment in time, Essence of Evil is the best Curse option. And Curse with Stun, especially a Stun that goes this easily, is an insanely good combo. Uh, the other two uh, options that you put behind it, of course, are completely optional. There's quite a few things that you can put behind it. But the premise of this team is Essence of Evil into Obsidious. The other two can basically be whatever you want as far as uh, damage sources. But we'll go and throw a Famine now. I guess we'll do it on his first slot and uh, then throw a Queen Map. Actually, I probably should have done that the other way around. So we get a little bit more extra damage. But oh well. Uh, do we have anything good to go do this? Keep in mind that you can do, can do it a little bit lower to get even more board control. If you want to try cascading into something really specific. However, I don't currently see anything within range. It's the only other big issue with Obsidious 2. Um, you're going to have to actually think about where to use its ability, which makes it take longer than that of Infernus. Uh, it does allow you to have board control, but it will take longer to cast, just because you need to figure out where on earth you want to cast it, unless you're just going to hit it randomly, which would slightly defeat the point of his ability. But uh, what do we even take here at this point? The Queen Mab? Do we even need Queen Mab? I think we just throw some damage and try for a random skull off the Cascade. And, uh, well, we got it over there. Not exactly where I was planning on getting it, but that works too. Let's take all of our mana from there. That'll allow us to do another Obsidious. I feel like he's never getting that extra bit of damage that he's supposed to have. Uh, let's see. We'll throw that down. Not sure why they made it so inconsistent. I really wish they would buff that up to 100%. It really doesn't make any sense why it's not. It's still worse than Infernus, even if they do buff it to 100%. But of course, he's mainly used for his traits. I guess they didn't want to make his traits... Like, his traits are already so much better than Infernus, I guess they just didn't want to overdo it. But uh, who knows, maybe a little buffy percent eventually. Anyways, let's throw that down, and that is that. So, this Mythic, highly, highly, highly advise getting it. Uh, it doesn't need to be fully traded, ideally, because the main thing you're going to be using for is that stun. But uh, four times stun is insanely good compared to any other option that we currently have available. Next best option is basically using fully traded Corvash, and that's only going to get them stunned one at a time. So being able to stun an entire team just off of a single extra turn is a very solid troop, even if you're just solely using it for that purpose. And it's going to be synergized into a lot of teams, especially against things like Lust teams or anything that is really trait dependent that doesn't naturally have uh, immune to it like Impervious. And even in those instances, just throw a curse on it with Essence of Evil and stun it with an extra turn, and then boom, they're disabled on everything. So it has a lot of potentials, it's going to have a lot of synergy, it's going to be a really good support troop. It is way more of a support troop than a damage source, whereas an Infernus is a bit of a mix of everything. Infernus is definitely way more of a support, uh, support than damage, but overall still insanely, insanely good to have around. Anyways guys, that is the new Mythic, highly advised to go get. He'll be available for the next week on uh, PC, or on every version except Nintendo Switch. And uh, best of luck if you're going to be opening him in Glory Gym Guild and VIP Chest. So if any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I'll see all of you later, and goodbye everyone!